welcome troops to the Friday Fry Up Fatwood Fire Up Challenge and I'm just entering Gisborough Woods. I've run out of my supply of fatwood, well just about ran out, so there isn't any really really locally, so I've just popped down the road to Gisborough. We're just on the entrance to the woods, me and the dog. Our primary mission is to find fatwood but we also have a secondary mission. I've got a rucksack on me back and I want to take a bit of weight up and down some hills, get a little bit more stamina and also introduce the dog to a little bit more difficult terrain. So we'll just get straight into it. We're on a path now. Uh, we shot a shot, cutted the path, took the direct and difficult route. And uh, as much as today is about getting fat wood, it's also about coming out with a bit of weight on my back and uh, going up some slopes because we'll be in training for the dog's next big adventure. more of that later but uh, at the moment we're just getting a bit of stamina practicing or well, me practicing a bit of load carrying it's all right having these rucksacks stuffed full of gear but you really need to get out and uh, have them on your back for some time and find out just how heavy they are after a couple of hours or so. Not only that, but you've got to consider that when you're walking on difficult terrain, you don't want too much clothing on. So all that clothing has to go somewhere. Otherwise you end up with a very big sweat on. And when you stop, you're gonna get chilled.
We're starting to get into the evergreen now. So what I really want is dead evergreen. Uh, Shoot it off for now. Okay, well I wasn't recording. But what I said was look at how these knots are preserved sticking out of the rotten wood. And I sawed one of them off. And you can smell straight away that you've got fat wood. You can smell the turpentine. And there's the one I just cut. And there's the one I cut when I wasn't recording. So, essentially we've got local fat wood. It's just down the road, Gisborough Woods. But we're gonna be careful where we take anything from and we're going to be careful with this tool as well so we'll carry on for a better supply just hiding behind the trees there is the dog's next major uh, expedition but below us we've got uh, the fields of essentially North Yorkshire Right-hand side is Eston Hills Ridge Line. I can make out the nab quite easily, but or at least the towers, uh, radio masts. I've just come down that hill there, and I have to report it wouldn't be too hard to break your leg even with a light rucksack on so you've got to be a little bit careful anyway it's dinner time now so I've stopped by a large tree found myself a rock and I'm gonna use that rock to sit the stove on little little BCB gel stove I've got
I don't want to boil that, I'm just bringing it up to warm. I'm not drinking tea or coffee while I'm out sweating. I'm just drinking some isotonic flavour drink powder lemon. See when this is best before. Oh, this is not best before until the 7th of the 11th, 2020. It's just an excuse for a rest, really, is putting this little brew on. And just to keep using all my gear, because it's only by using it that you know where it is, what you've got and in what state it's in. So the dogs first aid kit has expanded slightly it's, it's not just a first aid kit it's it's a tools kit if you like and one tool is for fixing your body as much as there applies is for fixing something else I don't drink it out of here because this is a metal cup and uh, if things are hot they're not too good on your lips. This is where, if you're not careful, we start chilling off. I've got a jumper in there. I have got a little meal here of uh, just muesli and stuff, and I've got tea and coffee in there, but I'd, I'd have to get more water now, but, but there is plenty of water about. As long as you boil it, you'll be all right. Little bit of water left. Don't knock that over. I know they don't burn for that long, but you can always put another one in. They do burn clean and they're extremely easy to light. So I'm torn between really the old Hexi burner, which I've got plenty of, and the new BCB burner. Now for the clean-up operation. Come on, out the way. Right, come on, you know the situation. Come on, leg one. Leg one. Come on, leg one. That's leg one. Yes, it is. That's leg one.
Well, that did not go quite as well as expected. I got not very much fat wood at all. Although you can smell it, I've got virtually no fat wood. There's a lot of sticky resin on this one and a tiny bits of fat wood there. So instead of having a fantastic fat wood fry up, I'm going to have a fat wood assisted fry up and use the rocket stove which I used previously and is still good for another go if that nail needs replacing so or moving rather let's get the hammer out Placing as well or moving. Right, so let's hope we can get the rocket stove working, which will be damp with the little bit of fat wood that we've got. I think we should. I've got one piece of fat wood left from a previous occasion. Uh, from down south. I've got that which has a lot of resin on it which will be useful and these two little bits of fat wood, scabby bits. But we should get this going, I'm hoping. You can see there is streaks of fat wood in there, but not a lot. No, I think that's too too small to be any of, of much use. So we'll see see if we can get it going with what we got. <coughs>
might not be much of it, but it's still still fat wood, so it still burns like fat wood. Look at that now. The chimney effect. You've got to see this. So at the moment we are just burning on fat wood. You can tell by the smoke that's coming off. fry up after all. And for my fat wood fry up, what we've got is two slices of bread, a hen's egg and Some olive oil, it's olive oil. That's a bit better. Just waiting for the olive oil to get nice and hot. Alright, we'll give it a go now. So then, the Friday Fatwood Fry Up. The fantastic Friday Fatwood Fry Up.
We've burnt all the fat wood up now, which is why it's burning. Look how clean that's burning. That is burning tremendously clean. It's just a heat haze, yeah, it's red hot in there. You could see in there it's just red hot. Right, so the challenge was then the Friday fatwood fry up. Went out, found the fatwood, okay, not much fatwood. Needed the assistance from the rocket stove. But we got the fatwood fry up, and the dog's not with us now because she's knackered, lied out in front of the fire in the house, and uh, missing the, eggs, the egg fry up. So, <clears throat> fat wood then is quite precious in our area. There is some, but not a lot of it. <laughs> and it always makes me laugh when I smell it. it smells wonderful. So, if I look a bit harder, I should find <clears throat> more sources of it. But uh, I'll leave it for now then. If I put put this out after I get me brew, I should get one more fire out of it. <laughs> <laughs> 